Hi, I'm Carly at the Port Dover branch, and here at our Friends of the Library Makerspace, we have equipment where you can digitize a videotape, and I'll show you how to do that. So the VCR here is connected to this video capture device instead of to a TV, um, and then the other end of the video capture device is a USB, which we'll plug into the computer. So we'll open Elgato Video Capture on the computer. And this program will take whatever's being played on the VCR and record it. At the beginning, at, um, it's called Get Started. It asks you what the name of the movie is and how long it is. If you've got a label written on your home videotape, you can just type that in here. And if you don't know how long your movie is, that's fine. You can just ignore that step. If you do know, it'll do two things. It'll give you an estimate of how much hard disk space is required, so how large your video file will be. And it'll also give you the option to automatically stop recording based on the amount of time set here. We'll click continue. And here it says connect video. So let's pop our tape in and make sure that the video is connecting. And you can see on this little screen here, that's what you would see on the TV screen with your VCR. So we know the video is working. And we can just click continue. And now we're connecting the audio. We want to make sure we can hear it, but also that we can see both of these lines lighting up. And we click continue. Now we have to go back over to the VCR and queue up our tape. And once you've reached the beginning of your tape or you found the part uh, just before where you want to start recording, make sure you press stop on the VCR and then start recording on the computer and then press the play button on the VCR. Now while your tape is recording, you'll see there are two options here. Automatically stop recording has started counting down from the time we started at the beginning and mute sound. So we don't have to listen to the tape while we're watching it um, all the time. We can click in and out of this if we like. And then once you've reached the end of your tape, or the end of the part that you want to record, you can just click stop recording. And now we have an option to trim the beginning or the end if we have a little bit too much blue screen at the beginning or if we didn't realize our tape had stopped at the end. We can use these wedges to find the beginning that we want and the end that we want and then click continue or just skip it and click continue and we're all done. Now the longer that your tape is, the longer this step might take while you just wait for it to finish up and then you have an mp4 file of your video which you can save somewhere or put on a DVD.